Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome to episode 114 of the Iron Man series. And yes, this was intended guys. So I've been doing a lot of AFK woodcutting because I generally spend a lot of time just AFKing on uh, RuneScape. So might as well do something productive here. Anyways, hit the 99 woodcutting. And that is my first ever non-combat 99 on this account. So now that I am 99 woodcutting, I guess it's time to move on to another skill that I can AFK for you know a good amount. And that would most likely be fishing. I'm probably not gonna just exclusively be AFK fishing. Like if I need to do something that requires a lot of you know attention, uh, such as like I guess schoolwork and stuff, you know, I hit up the fishing. If it's more chill, then obviously I'll probably work on cooking or something. And uh, these two skills right here, mining and smithing, is something I plan on working on again for some AFK because smithing is going to be for Corporal Beast. I would like to AFK smith some cannonballs obviously because that would be nice to speed up Corporal Beast kills that's coming up in the near future whenever Armadale is finished and as for the mining it's just nice to get the 85 so I don't have to boost for master clues and stuff so yeah those are like my four uh, main AFK things here we go here's another hunter level right there 79 hunter that is amazing so close to 80 so we got 186k so hopefully i get that uh either today or tomorrow because then five traps here with chins is gonna make the armor grind so much faster for real so i got the ballista completed on the last episode and i was like saying hey why don't i go ahead and play around with it at the gorillas and so i did and i quickly found out that having a ballista switch just yeah was not good at all so instead, I heard that uh, the blister is actually kind of decent at raids just for like the skeleton room. So I was like, okay, let's go ahead and give it a try. So yeah, I went and tested it. So I did not have 92 fletching, so I could not use the best javelins with this ballista. But I thought that room was probably decent enough to, you know, experiment with. And as you can see, I was hitting really high with the ballistas. Like, I was hitting constant 40s and 50s when it did hit. The only downside, of course, is that the ballista is super slow. So right away, I could see that, at least with the rune javelins, like, compared to that of the armadillo crossbow, I could see that the armadillo crossbow was definitely uh, better. But since I don't have giant javelins yet, and seeing how the rune one uh, has some potential to like you know compete with the armadillo crossbow i would love to try the ballista again when i have the dragon javelins which is coming up soon and there's a good shot that the ballista can probably contend with the armadillo crossbow so i'm not telling you guys to all of a sudden switch to ballistas because like there's a chance that it might be better than the armadillo crossbow but like for me at least since on this Iron Man account, I have all these extra supplies anyways for javelins. I might as well use it rather than let it sit in my bank. So, so I am unlocking the minecart that uh, basically is at Piscalarius. So I want to show you guys something cool, right? So normally when you go to Piscalarius, the closest teleport to this place is the Xerix Heart teleport. And unfortunately, it's so far away from the fishing spot that I want to go to for uh, the anglerfish. So instead, I'm going to be using the minecart, so I'm going to try this out and see if it's noticeably faster. So I use the Xerx Talisman to teleport to the raids area. And from here, I take the minecart and hopefully he will let me go to Piscalarius. It costs 50 GP each. There we go. So I guess if you want to get to Piscalarius fast and you got the Xerx Talisman, I recommend you unlock the Lava Kench Mine Network. You need 65% Lava Kench favor, but it's not too hard to get. And yeah, eventually you probably want to unlock them all anyways. So yeah, that way I have a nice way to get to Piscalarius and get my f and start AFK Anglerfish a lot more conveniently, I guess. So I'm going to be doing all my fishing while I wield the Dragon Harpoon. Unfortunately, the Dragon Harpoon's 20% extra catch rate is not applied to stuff like fishing rods. Currently it only works for like harpoon fishing. But I think I've heard rumors in the future they might make the harpoon apply the bonus to any type of fishing. But at the very least, the dragon harpoon has a special attack as you can see that boosts my fishing by 3, similar to like dragon axes and stuff. So it'll still help me out and catch fish, because obviously higher fish level, faster fish. This is the catch of destiny guys, 80 hunter, 
You can now have up to five traps placed at one time. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait to see how much better the experience is at the Red Chin. So I am stocking up on another thousand, so I'm probably gonna head over to Armadale probably again tonight, but yeah, definitely wanna play around with the five traps first. So I've been catching chins for a bit now with the uh, five traps and the XP is floating basically a little bit over 130k. So I'm just gonna say 130k experience an hour now at red chins, which is huge, huge uh, improvement. So that is about 500 red chins an hour. So that is amazing. What? Damn, dude, I got a god sword shard. From the melee minion. Okay. Oh, what? I got an elite clue scroll from the boss. Well, still no Armadale helmet. I would uh, probably still keep this master clue for a bit longer though. Alright, so I think that's gonna be the last kill of this trip. And uh, that's probably my highest KC uh, not on task so far. At Armadale, so that's pretty good. Come on now, seriously. That's my fourth heavy frame. Okay. We're still looking for that Zenite though, so yeah. The grind continues, guys. Damn, that was oh my god, 52 blowpipe. Holy shit. I've never hit that high before. With my blowpipe. Addy darts, okay. So I'm gonna deposit my fish. Uh, using the deposit inventory and what why does my sandworms and fishing rods stay so there is an option in your bank okay that you can use so you can do stuff like uh, this being able to deposit only a few things you go on this uh, little like yeah wrench icon and you just gotta click on this right it's called the fill bank and what it does is it'll just fill your bank to maximum capacity so right now I have a few bank fillers in my bank. Basically I filled it up to the point that I can only store this fish and uh, I, there's no space for me to store these worms and fishing rod. When I'm done, I just clear all and then I can deposit them again. So you can do this for just about anything. So yeah, like fletching, anything deposit related where you want to keep some of the stuff. A rune sword! Oh, come on. GG, man. Alright, just hit AD1 Hunter. Well, it looks like I am going to be getting, yeah, super high Hunter at this rate. Uh, since it does take so many chins just to get uh, even a decent amount of Armadale. So, as far as I know, since I have 130 something kills at Armadale now, I have used uh, over over 3,000 chins, probably closer to 4,000. So I'm expecting to kill another few hundred. So that's like another, you know, three times that, you know, over 10,000 plus chins will have to be caught. And that's gonna give me, I think over 2 million experience. Another hunter level. So I am stocking up for some more armadillo. Anyways, 252K to 83 hunter, damn dude. Never thought I would see the day that I would get Hunter this high on any of my uh, old school accounts. So that is the first for me, man. And uh, this Master Clue, although I'm so close to finishing it, you know, requires the Armadale Helmet, which I tried to get. I spent a lot of time already and unfortunately I haven't gotten it yet. And it's kind of wasteful to, you know, just keep this Master Clue and not do it because I already have an Elite Clue. So I will not be able to get any more clues anymore if I just keep them. So. I'm just gonna have to drop this clue. I'm still gonna be camping Armadale just as often until I get all the Armadale equipment. But at the very least, doing it this way, I can hand over all of my existing clues and then I can, uh, you know, get some more elites and all that stuff for the next one. So that's good. So this master clue definitely paid off. I managed to get the casket. So, yep, here goes. Wow. All right, tons of stuff. Uh, the Armadale page. Yo, I get these like all the time now. It's insane. Damn! Holy fuck. I have nine Armadale pages. Yup. I will get this uh, next Master Clue. Okay, back to back Master Clue rewards, guys. 
Here we go. Okay, okay, no uh, real unique items. What? I got a curve bone from these shamans. Holy shit, why they let them drop curve bones but not Dragon Warhammer? Yo, it's 1 in 5,000. There we go. Oh, come on, baby. Let's get some. Let's get some hits. Any drops? <gasps> no! Oh my god. GG, guys. Got another butt plug. Damn it, dude. Wow. Oh. Well, hey, at least I'm not dry anymore. Okay, I'm, I'm not too mad, I'm not too mad. We gotta drop though, we gotta drop. Yeah, we're gonna have to take that. So I'm gonna be wrapping up today's video guys. Thank you guys so much for watching today's episode as usual and I hope you guys enjoyed it. So, as you know, this video took a bit longer than normal to uh, release and make much progress. I've been playing pretty much the same, you know, amount uh, as usual, but I think my RNG streak is over and at this point in time this character's progress is you know super super slow so unless I, I get some really nice RNG uh, every now and then I, I can then make videos a, a bit quicker but I just have to make sure I get good enough clips you know before I make a video and uh, fortunate enough for me I managed to get something today you know just a placeholder cold I want basically <laughs> I might be the first Iron Man account to have two Anyways, I'm gonna keep grinding and uh, hopefully we get some more drops in the upcoming videos and uh, make progress, you know, towards the Corporal Beast or Raids, whatever it is. Anyways, I will see you guys later with another video in a few days. Alright, take care and bye-bye.